Glenn Boyce has officially been named Chancellor of the University of Mississippi, but the announcement didn't come without controversy. Thank you for joining us, everyone. I'm Byron Brown. And I'm Melanie Christopher. It led to protests by students and alums. As a result, the public introduction planned for today canceled. The announcement made by news release and conference call. 12 News' Gerald Harris breaks down today's events. Gathered in a room at the Ole Miss and protesters, including faculty, students, and alumni. Voice their opposition to the selection of Dr. Glenn Boyce and forced the cancellation of the planned announcement. Dr. Boyce was initially part of the search team. A consultant paid around $87,000 to select the next chancellor. I was paid for consulting services and perform the work and feel like I performed the work effectively and feel like I did the job that I was asked to do, certainly. Dr. Boyce is a former president of Homeless Community College and former IHL commissioner. He said there will be work to do to unite the campus. I feel like I've got tremendous support out there. And while we've got some work to do and we've got some challenges, uh, we certainly will tackle those. Some questioned why Dr. Boyce didn't partake in listening sessions on campus before being given the job. I think this entire process is really unacceptable and disrespectful to students. We are one of the biggest stakeholders of this campus and this community. We basically drive what happens, and yet they completely cut us out of the process. They were supposed to be transparent, and they weren't. Boyce is a New York State native and Ole Miss alum. He said he initially didn't want to be considered, but changed his mind because of what he says the university means to him. I will tell you that all 41 years, and whatever successes and whatever great things have happened in my life, this university was in some small way a part of. And so that's why I made the decision to see if I could help. He will begin the job as chancellor on or around October 13th. Reporting in Jackson, Gerald Harris, 12 News. The IHL said in this unanimous vote that it adhered to the process throughout the search. Senator Roger Wicker also commented on the board's decision of announcing Boyce as chancellor. He released a statement congratulating him. It reads, in part, quote, alumni everywhere can be proud that the board selected one of our alma mater's own to be the next chancellor of Mississippi's flagship university. Dr. Boyce embodies the mission described in Ole Miss's creed, nurturing excellence in intellectual inquiry and personal character in an open and diverse environment, end quote.